All right, you guys, so my cost of goods for this episode of my Friday Thrift Find series is a little high for me. It's $6.17, so let's roll that intro and show you everything that I got. Hey guys, it's me, Kay, and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do also sell occasionally on Depop. I think I'm up to like six or seven sales. Um, but on this channel, you will find mostly reseller content, what solds, thread up unboxings, thrift hauls. Every Friday is a thrift haul, which is what you're watching right now. And I use that money to travel the world. So if you're into any of those things, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet. Anyway, like I said in the intro, I paid $6.17. That's my average cost of goods for everything I'm about to show you. It's 22 items. Um, I did get a couple things for my daughter, which I actually will show you in this haul because I didn't have anything to film for this week's episode. I'm filming it after work on Friday on the day that it's gonna go up. So I went to the thrift store last night and uh, she's with her dad for the next few days. So I do have that stuff to show you, but let's get right into it. So as you saw in the thumbnail, I did get some spooky stuff. Um, this is just the head. He does come with two hands and two feet in there. Um, I did check it in the store to make sure it works. He's apparently called Marcus the Carcass, so he's kind of like a zombie or just like a rotting dead body. Um, I thought he's cool. Uh, it says 2001 on here, GPG. I'm not sure what company that is. Uh, comps on eBay for him with the box though um, were around 35. Um, and I got him in a tote with another Halloween or spooky thing. It's this set of three eyes. So they're all a little bit different. You got some yellow ones. And then this is the third set. These do work as well. Of course, I tested them in the store and these are called Peepin Peepers, like P-E-E-P-N apostrophe peepers. So comps on those, maybe 15, 16, but I love finding the spooky stuff. I am a huge Halloween junkie, um, so I like picking it up, but I will be selling these. I will not be using those for personal. All right, so everything else is clothing and shoes. I'm gonna move to the side a little bit so that you guys can better see the clothing. The first couple things are things that I picked up for my daughter. I texted her pictures in the store to see if she wanted them. This first one made my heart really happy when she said yes, because if I could fit into this thing, I would keep it. It's a rainbow colored shirt. It's just from Derek Hart, nothing crazy. And I didn't take the tags off any of this stuff because I literally just got it last night and I haven't had time. Um, a slight bell sleeve here, nothing crazy. Um, and it's just all eyelets. So it's basically just a mesh top. I definitely had one of these uh, in the Y2K era that was black. Um, so yeah, I was really excited that she said yes to that. Uh, another thing I picked up for her was this Attack on Titan t-shirt. This is an anime and manga that she really loves. Um, that was kind of the first one that really got her into that genre. So she was excited for that. And then this is just a Stranger Things crew neck. She watches the show with her dad. She really enjoys it. Um, she loves her some Eddie Munson. So I picked up that for her and then everything else I picked up to resell except for there might be one or two things in here for me. Even though it was last night, I honestly can't remember. So my main goal in going to the thrift store other than to get something to put up on YouTube so that I didn't default on my Friday thrift find series, I really wanted to look for some fall things. Um, yesterday just so happened to be the first day of fall, September 22nd, 20, yeah, 22nd. Um, so fall was on my mind and I definitely got a lot of that. This is a perfect example. This is J. Crew, which I hardly ever pick up. Uh, this is a size small. Um, and this is from fall of 2019. So semi-recent, I don't go further back than 2018. Um, but it has this nice like embroidered 
detail on the sleeves. It's very much like a rusty mustard color, uh, so perfect for the season. This is a pair of Athleta pants, and when I was in the store, I actually found three of the same exact pants, same size, all in different colors, but the other two had slight flaws. One had like a pink stain that I wasn't confident that I could get out, and the other one had um, some of the seams had come apart, so I left those two behind and just picked up this one. Uh, this is the Skyline Pant 2 in a size 12, really great size. Um, the newer Athleta does have the um, style name right underneath the brand label, as you saw there. These are from spring of 2020. Uh, when I looked up comps on these in the store, they look to be around 40, 45, um, up to 60 if they're brand new. I will try to give you some comps as I go, but I don't always look up everything in the store. So a lot of times I just go off of, you know, previous times that I've sold that particular brand or style um, and sometimes I just pick it up because I like it. <laughs> so I'll try to do my best. This is Lululemon size 4. I don't think these were ever worn because the condition of this rip tag is immaculate. Uh, it doesn't look like it ever saw a wash or anything. Um, these are a black jogger pant. Not sure of the style. Again, haven't looked anything up. I did slightly pay up for these. These were $12.99, if you guys can see that. Um, I did have another piece from this brand in here. This is Free People. It's just their normal Free People metal tag. This is a size medium, um, but that was Free People Beach, and I ended up putting it back since, you know, we're in fall now, so... Not as many people looking for beachy type stuff. This kind of looks like one of their popular thermals, but it doesn't have the cuffs that those have. Um, but I just really liked the style and it was only $4.99. I had it 20% off, so it was fairly inexpensive. This is a good example of a fall piece that I was looking for there. They've only just started to put out, you know, the sweaters, light jackets. They don't have any heavy jackets out at my thrift stores and even the sweaters and cardigans are just like one side of a rack. If you've ever been to a Savers, you know what I mean, or a Value Village. Uh, so yeah, definitely not too much to look through. Uh, but I did happen to find this jacket. It's from Vince. This brand is hit or miss for me, to be honest. This is an extra small, but I really just liked the style. It is a cropped denim trucker jacket. If you sell styles like this, definitely put trucker in your keywords. People look for that. And it does have a raw hem. Um, comps for this were about 60 to 75, which for Vince, for me at least, is decent enough for me to pick up. This is my favorite brand currently, anyways, of activewear to sell. So if you've been around my channel for a little bit, you probably know what I'm about to show you. But this is Vuori, size extra large. This never sits, ever, for me. Um, it always sells within two days. I've never had anything sit longer than three. Um, so there you go. Your mileage may vary, of course. Everybody sells things a little bit differently. This, I believe, is a men's style. It's an extra large. Um, it's just a white tee with a little pocket there. Um, comps probably aren't great. Uh, I just picked it up because I have history with that brand and it always does well for me, so I will pretty much always pick it up. This is another Lululemon piece. Um, they didn't know what it was, even though the logo is clearly here um and it's also on the little zipper pull but they only marked it at 6.99 6.49 actually and this is a full zip hoodie it's not a scuba hoodie it's a little bit thinner of a material um it doesn't have though it does have thumb holes i love a thumb hole um and it doesn't have the little embroidered logo on the hood like the scuba hoodies do um, it almost looked like it could zip off, like you could zip off the hoodie, but you can't. I was mistaken. And this, I think, is a size 6. 
Let me see if I can find the size dot right now. Yeah, this is a size six. It does not have the letters and numbers around the circle. So if I want to find the style, I will have to do a little bit more digging um, on Lulu Fanatics, unfortunately. I also picked up for us um, three bottles of Purell hand sanitizer. Um, I always have a small one in my car for when I go to the, the thrift store and I can just easily put it on my hands after I get out. Um, and I also like to travel with one, so I figured we could at least use these um, to refill those small travel size bottles for the car or for when we go on a trip. Um, it was $3.99 for three full size bottles and the little travel size ones are like two or three dollars so I felt like it was worth it enough for me to grab all right these I picked up because the price was decent they were $8.99 um, and they're new with tags this is Wilfred which is an Aritzia brand uh, which is basically the Canadian equivalent of anthropology here's another peek at the label these are a size zero um, the retail price was $148. It says Diamante Black Noir. So I don't know if Diamante is maybe the style, but these are a black straight leg, like dress pant or career wear pant. I know a lot of people have gone back to the offices now, so maybe someone will be in the market for that. Plus Q4 is coming up and they're new with tags. Okay, so I have one more top and then we have denim and shoes and that's everything that I have for this haul. This next item, um, the top that I have left is definitely gonna go up on my Depop. Uh, it is a vintage Y2K piece and it's had a little bit of a resurgence lately. I have seen a ton of teenage age kids wearing items from this brand. You might think it's inappropriate. Doesn't really bother me um, either way. <laughs> and I have a teenager, but you know, whatever. This is Playboy. Uh, it does say right here, it's very small. I didn't even notice it till filming that it says medium slash large. It definitely looks like it fits uh, very small, which I think is the intent for it to be tight. And this is a little V-neck number, um, not quite long sleeves. So I guess these are like three quarter length sleeves. And then it has, it kind of looks like puffy paint. It's obviously not because it's a little bit better quality than that, but the logo of the bunny looks, it's like, like it's puffy paint. Uh, so yeah, there we have it. Definitely gonna use a Y2K um, keyword on all three platforms, Poshmark, eBay, Depop. So we'll see how fast that sells. All right, like I said, denim. I have one, two, three, four pairs of denim. Uh, this first pair, this is only the second time I've ever found this brand. The first time sold lightning quick for me and for a decent amount. And I actually found two pairs on this day, yesterday. Um, but the second pair had some embellishments down the side of the leg and in more than one um, place, they were missing some. So I decided to leave those. Uh, I think this is a newer tag. The other pair that I found had an older tag. This is Driftwood. These are the Jackie style in a waist 26, length 28. Uh, most of the styles that I've ever seen from this brand, whether you know the one time I picked it up in a thrift store or I've seen online, they're usually embellished or embroidered. These are no exception. These are like a faded black wash and then they have some embroidery here on the bottom of the leg with a raw hem they are skinny style which isn't as desirable to some people but i still like them so i will continue picking them up this brand i love to find and i always say it to myself when i go into the thrift store kind of trying to manifest it and it worked this time this is good american size eight or 29 and these are the good waist good american is chloe kardashian's clothing brand if you weren't aware high-waisted again skinny leg they look kind of slightly cropped maybe and a raw hem uh, they also have like a tiny little bit of distressing like a little shark bite taken out of the middle of the back pockets on each side 
Good American always has a style number too on the inside tag that you can easily look up and uh, find the stock photo if you so desire to use a stock photo. This is a pair of Madewell jeans. I picked these up because they are not as skinny um, and they are from summer of 18. So like I said earlier, I'm not going past 2018. At this point, these are the slim, high rise slim boy jean size 27. So they're kind of like a tapered straight leg, distressed raw hem. So far, all three of the jeans I have showed you had a raw hem, and even the denim jacket had a raw hem. So the last pair, though, does not have a raw hem. So there's that. Um, these are Levi's. I only pick up some Levi's, the 501s, the Mile High, and the Rib Cage, which is what these are. Rib Cage, straight ankle, size 29. I do have a few pairs of Mile High and Rib Cage in my closet right now um, that aren't selling, but those are also skinny. And these are a straight leg, as the name says, super high rise because they are meant to be underneath your rib cage. So people seem to like these and I'm hoping that um, the straight leg will help them sell a little bit quicker. Uh, these are a button fly as well. I like it when it's exposed, but you know, Everybody likes something a little different, right? So yeah, uh, non-exposed button fly. And then we have just three pairs of shoes and that's all she wrote for this episode of Friday Thrift Finds. The first pair is a pair of kid shoes, which I hardly ever look at kid shoes, but as I've said before, I watch a lot of Ginger Marvin and she sells this brand a lot. This is native, as you can see on the bottom sole. Uh, these are a size J5, which I'm assuming equates to something for a youth size. Um, they do need a little bit of cleaning, as you can see on the toe, um, the midsoles, um, but otherwise they're pretty good and these seem like they're fairly easy to clean. I've only picked up Native one time before um, and they sold pretty quick. It was like a rubber, I think all their shoes are kind of like this rubber material, um, but it was a woman's Dior Say flat and they still sold pretty fast. These were also only $1.99, so. Okay, the next pair of shoes, bear with me. They definitely need a lot of love. They're definitely gonna need to go in the wash. So if you have any recommendations on how to clean them, please send them my way. I would love to have it. Um, I picked these up because of the brand and the fact that they were marked down to $5.79 before my 20% discount because of how badly um, worn they are. These are on running. Um, these are on cloud. These look like this says Helion in the back. This is a Swiss company. It says Cloud Tech right here. Um, this is the logo for you to look out for. O-N, on. Um, they have some that's just on, some that are on running, some that are on cloud, but I believe the brand is just the on. Uh, these are women's seven. I haven't looked up what exact style these are, but uh, yeah, here's what the bottoms look like. The right shoe is the one that is more problematic. The laces are all fine. Structurally, they're pretty sound other than needing to be cleaned on the midsoles, but I don't know quite what happened to this shoe. But uh, yeah, they definitely got into something with that one. This one does not have that, so I don't know. Maybe they stepped in something on a run on their right shoe only, so we'll see. But I've only ever found this brand one time before and they were pretty much in exactly the same shape and they still sold for $55 within a day of listing them. So I figured why not? I will try to clean them up as best I can and regardless, I'm just going to list them if I can't get them cleaned up all the way. Okay, so the last pair of shoes and the last thing that I have to share with you is a new brand to me. If you guys have ever sold this brand or found it before, please let me know how it went for you. I would love to hear that. 
Um, but the comps that I saw on eBay, I always do my comp searching on eBay if I'm actually doing it in the store because Poshmark automatically filters by my size when I'm searching and that irritates me. So I use eBay. But anyway, the comps on eBay were $60 to $70. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Um, this is called TMA, like the letters TMA and eyes, like, you know, the eyes in your head. Um, so I don't know where these are made. Um, looks like Germany from the inner tag. These are a USA size seven, but I just thought they were so cool and funky. Uh, definitely some decent tread on the bottom. So I don't know if they're kind of like a hiking or mountaineering shoe, but I don't know. I just really love this green color. They are leather. Um, they have the brand on the um, shoelaces, which is usually a good sign um, when companies put branding on small little details like that. Um, the grommets or eyelets, I forget what these are called. They have a specific name where the laces go in. Those all say TMA eyes as well. So I don't know, they seemed legit. So I decided to try them out and see what happens there. But yeah, again, if you guys have any experience with this brand, please let me know in the comments. All right, so that's everything that I found yesterday for $136. Now I need to run and go and edit this video so I can get it up for you guys um, before the end of the night. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here in this weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.